I'm honored to be here with you this evening to present this prestigious award. The USAA is a financial services organization, a company devoted exclusively to serving the military communities and their families. For more than 100 years, USAA has made a commitment to support, advocate, and be advocates for our military members and their families, our entire military community. Tonight, AFSP is honoring USAA with the Public Service Lifesaver Award for its remarkable suicide prevention initiative, Face the Fight. Launched in 2023, Face the Fight has united a growing coalition of corporations, government liaisons, foundations, nonprofits, and veteran-focused organizations in order to raise awareness and support for preventing veteran military suicides. AFSP is a proud member of the Face the Fight Coalition, which is working hard to raise the awareness around suicide and suicide prevention in the military community, in the stigma of seeking help, and fostering open and honest conversations about mental health. The veteran suicide rate is 1.5 times the national average. But research shows that suicide can be preventable. And bringing that hope to the military community is the central focus and mission for Face the Fight. Through generous grants made by its network of coalition members, Face the Fight is able to connect veterans and military communities and members with both peer and clinical support, as well as provide training for mental health clinicians. The initiative has also funded screening services and clinical interventions for military members at risk for suicide. As an example of this grants in action, this can be seen in the work at Vets for Warriors. I am grateful to share with you that Vets for Warriors was awarded a Face the Fight grant in October of 2023. This grant was to expand the national veteran peer support services we offer and strengthen suicide prevention interventions and initiatives. This endeavor involves training and implementation of evidence-informed suicide screening and management protocols. The grant facilitates the professional growth of our program's peer support specialists and enables Vets for Warriors to extend its reach to a broader spectrum of veterans, active duty, National Guard, reserve, service members, and their families. Peer support is critical in suicide prevention, certainly for veterans, because tragically most individuals with serious thoughts of suicide do not engage in health care or mental health services. And over half of the veterans who die by suicide did not access VA care in the year prior to their death. Since October 2023, the infusion of funding and collaboration with Face the Fight has increased Vets for Warriors service capacity by nearly 9%. Beyond financial support, Face the Fight has facilitated invaluable connections for Vets for Warriors, linking to top-tier training resources to enhance our operations. The tangible outcomes of this collaboration are apparent. Following the adoption of the gold standard Columbia Suicide Severity Scale, there has been an approximately 317% increase in suicide screenings since the fourth quarter of 2023 through the first quarter of 2024. This proactive screening approach has enabled the identification of individuals at risk, leading to the form formulation and imp implementation of 68 crisis response plans within the same time frame. Vets for Warriors work with Face the Fight has been invaluable and will lead to even more lives saved. With its urgent initiative, USAA brings much needed expertise and deep military connections to the fight against suicide. At Face the Fight, it reminds us in its mission statement 
When we come together to fight suicide, there is hope. I am humbled at the opportunity to present this award to Wayne Peacock. Wayne Peacock is a visionary leader, a tremendous human being, loved and admired all over the world for the deep devotion to our nation's military and their families. I could go on long this evening to tell you more about Wayne, but his leadership truly is visionary, and he and the work he's doing with Face the Fight is changing the face of suicide prevention. Please join me in recognizing USAA with the 2024 Public Service Lifesaver Award. Accepting this award tonight is the President of USAA, Mr. Wayne Peacock. Well, good evening, and uh, thank you, General Graham, and thanks, Carol, um, as, well, as well. It's my honor to accept this award on behalf of our 37,000 USAA teammates and every member of the Face the Fight Coalition. You know, this recognition is the result of committed, passionate people who are working together for a common purpose, and that's to save lives. Many of those people are in the room with us here tonight, and I'd like to recognize our founding partners because without them, Face the Fight would not exist. First, Major General Alfred Flowers, the board chairman of Reach Resilience, Sonia Medina Williams, the president and CEO of Reach Resilience. And I can tell you, we would not be here without the great support. Uh, uh, General Flowers, thank you very much. Let's give you a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. Tiffany Benjamin, Benjamin, the CEO of the Humana Foundation, unfortunately dealing with traffic issues tonight uh, in the airways is not with us but a huge huge partner for us and steve schwab the ceo of the elizabeth dole foundation who's really doing all the back of the house work um, to make this happen dr david rosick and brooke fina are suicide prevention clinical experts from ut health in our hometown of san antonio a big part of our expertise over this first year you and your organizations have stood arm in arm with USAA on this critically important initiative. So let's thank all of them as well. You know, as Mark said, Face the Fight was founded in 2023, but its roots go all the way back to 1922, because in that year, 25 soldiers started what we call the grand experiment that is USAA. And we've carried on that legacy of taking great care of military families for over 100 years. We have a deep understanding of military service and the experience of military life on duty, downrange, um, and at home. And we stay close to our members, listening to their needs and learning what's important to them. In 2021, members of all ages and military backgrounds told us that mental health and suicide prevention were top of mind for the military community. And that makes it top of mind for us as well. You know, since 2001, more than 120,000 veterans have died by suicide. These are brave men and women who have given so much through their service, only to end up in crisis at home. And up to this point, government and veteran service organizations had largely faced this challenge alone. So USAA engaged our nation's private and philanthropic sectors in a coalition to help us face the fight. And by raising awareness and fostering real open conversations around support and hope, we're working to break the stigma that surrounds suicide in the military community. Tonight, I'm proud to share with you that the coalition that began with just a handful of organizations has now grown to 170 members and we have raised $85 million to support this effort. As you heard from Mark and Vets for Warriors, this brings critical scale and evidence-based interventions 
that are, that are proven uh, to reduce veteran suicide. And most importantly, with funds already deployed, we've projected to save 3,500 military veteran lives by 2032. <laughs> Two weeks before we introduced Face the Fight to the public, we introduced this campaign to our USA employees. And two days later, R.W. Bearden, one of our USA teammates, made an important phone call. Take a listen. Just a few weeks ago, I was taking a break from all the calls that were coming in, servicing our members, and I saw in our, in our internal social media post a new in initiative called Face the Fight. And I knew at that moment that I had to reach out to someone, and the phone rang. The fifth ring, thank God, thank God, he finally answered. And you know, we were talking about all the things we did, but you know, at the end of the call, he said, you know, buddy, I am so glad that you called. Because on that fifth ring, I traded my sidearm, and I put that sidearm on the workbench to talk to you, because I was gonna take my life. Thank you. That call, that action, saved us a lot. Yeah. And I always said this, is that friendship is not a thought, it's an action. Just reaching out is gonna make a difference. I mean, that's just what buddies do. You know, we ask that question. Hey, are you okay? Can I, can I help? Together, we're gonna to face the fight. You know, about 25% of our USA employees are veterans. Um, and we've heard so many stories since we started this of just reaching out and connecting, sometimes to folks that they deal with all the time and other times to folks they haven't talked to in a while. And it is amazing the power of connectedness and sometimes it's like our W and the intervention is real in the moment. But other times it just reconnects and starts to build that community again, which is vitally important to so many people who are isolated and alone today. You know, this incredibly powerful story does underscore the importance of human connection. And we see how reaching out and checking in can have a tremendous impact. You know, we all have a role to play in this fight. If you're inspired to join us or want to learn more about getting help or supporting those who need it, visit wefacethefight.org. You know, we train our service members to stand tall, to be brave in the face of any challenge, and to push through adversity. That warrior ethos sometimes advances the stigma that acting, asking for help is a weakness, but the strength is in raising your hand. It's in asking for help. Before I close tonight, I want to recognize Justin Schmidt, who leads corporate responsibility at USAA. Justin had the initial idea for Face the Fight, and he advocated tirelessly to make it a reality. And I will tell you tirelessly, because I pushed back on him for probably three or four quarters to get his business case together. But Justin has said there's no greater reward than seeing others find purpose and meaning in your vision, and to run with it like it was their own. Face the Fight's now a movement. USAA is forever changed, and the military community is forever better served because of your vision, determination, and compassion. So Justin, take a bow up here, wherever you are. There you are. On behalf of everyone at USA, we want to thank the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention for this great recognition and for your essential work to advance research, education, and support for this important issue. And on the eve of Memorial Day, I hope all of us get a chance to reflect, to take a moment um, to say thanks and to honor those um, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we all get to live in this wonderful and sometimes messy democracy that is the United States of America.
When we come together to fight suicide, there is hope. Thank you.